All right, we're back here for round number two. <clears throat> so this over here again. I don't usually look at it, but when people cast ponders, I like to be able to see it. All right, what do we got here? This looks pretty good. We're on the play, you know, 50-50 again, but uh, we got it, which is great. Anyway, <laughs> um, this hand's good. This hand uh, has a looting. It's a little weak to a wasteland. Uh, pretty strong against Force of Wills. A little weak to possible Chalice, but not that weak because we have Exhum. Uh, those are the cards that are good against us, game one. Um, if he forces this Faithless Suiting and then casts Wasteland, that would be the worst case scenario. Uh, but that would, like I said, be the worst case scenario. So we're, we're not always going to face the worst case scenario, hopefully. So, I like the therapy. I mostly like putting Gristlebrand in the graveyard. Okay, so Gristlebrand, and maybe we're not looting again. Maybe we are. The tomb doesn't look very necessary. So, I will. Looting also doesn't look that necessary. I, I think I'll get rid of the looting. Uh, and tomb's like maybe a nice black spell to exile. Uh, if we draw and unmask, it's probably better than therapy. And we definitely want to keep both of these. So let's see what he... Okay, so he's starting with the Wasteland. So he didn't have Force Will, but he did have the Wasteland. Let's see if he has a Force Will for the Reanimate. Alright, well, that's pretty good. There's that unmask I was talking about. Um, I still think we're going to exile... Um, Tomb, in case he has like multiple Fords of Wills. Uh, I doubt he does. Yeah, okay, so he's not even a Force of Will deck. Uh, this is problematic. He has a Caracas, which is quite good, um, but at least he won't be able to play a threat and the Caracas on the first turn. It's too bad we don't have that other land because drawing 14 is really good at beating Caracas. Drawing 7 is not really good at beating Krakus. It is okay. It's okay. Um, yep, now I kind of wish we had that in tomb, but I think it was still correct. Uh, again, so he has Thalia, which we don't want him to get with Exhum. Exhum. So we're going to take the Plowshare here, the Swords Plushers, and hope that our Three life and seven new cards is good enough. All right, going down to three, drawing seven cards. Okay, this is good. We don't have, uh oh. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't get another entomb. Um, and the only creature we have now is a Gristle Brand, which is just not good against the Caracas. So I think we play the land. No, we already played a land. Okay. Uh, all right. We're looking for a red source. So we can discard most of his cards next turn. I don't know how good that is uh, with the Exhum, but do we want to get rid of the Exhum? Probably not. Uh, I guess hmm, it's quite tough to decide what to get rid of. We do want a red source so we can loot. Or just an Entomb. Entomb would be pretty nuts. Or a creature if we have a therapy in our hand. Let's get rid of one therapy. Or we could just get rid of the Unmasked. We know what his cards are. Yeah. Unfortunately, this exhum is going to be pretty well shut off here in a minute. <laughs> because we're going to have to get rid of that Thalia. Thalia is going to kill us and make it so we can't cast things. Can we get an Entomb? No. But we got a red source. That's good. And... Okay. I'm going to cast this. We 
Wish me luck. Looting has to hit Elishnor. No, not Elishnor. Ashenrider. Um, four Chancellors would be nice. A couple Chancellors would be pretty good. Uh, Intomb would be great. Or another red source for the other looting would be okay. But mostly looking for Ashen Rider. Or a way to get Ashen Rider. We didn't get any of that. We also didn't get a red source. We got none of that. Uh, okay, well, we're not going to want this, really. We could actually reanimate his Birds of Paradise. That might be kind of good. Um... So we can go, I think we want to, we can discard this, we can actually flash back, um, that's kind of good, because the Caracas is just going to bounce it anyway. So we'll just discard one of these, and we'll get the Birds of Paradise off of the reanimate, and then we will discard the, um, the Thalia? And I think we need to discard the... Huh. So we discard Birds of Paradise to, to reanimate it. Um, I don't think he's going to cast... He's going to uh, forget to use Crocus if I cast Cabal Therapy, so I want it in the graveyard. I'm in a bit of a rough spot here. I guess we have to get rid of the Dark Ritual, even though it's kind of good. All right. Birds of Paradise might buy us a turn, too. You can always flash back uh, the other therapy later for his equipment. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. So you can swords the birds of paradise if we get that back. Oh, that sucks. Um, so we don't want to get that back then. Unless we want to flash back our therapy. Thalia. Scrib Ranger is going to end up just killing us, or the Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty rough. We, uh, this is what happens when you reanimate against a Caracas. We get in these bad situations where if you had drawn 14, this would never happen. We would have gotten like two or three creatures into play if we draw 14. Because there's a super high chance that there's at least a creature or a, uh, a creature or an entomb in the next seven cards that we didn't quite get to see. And so he's going to Scrib Ranger. It's a 1-1. One, one. So we have like a turn. Kind of good too. So we must draw in tomb or a red source, or we're dead. Because he is gonna play something now, surely. No, he must. Sad part is this in tomb is is just sad to be here in the exile zone. It's not where I want it. I want it in my hand, so I need to draw another one. 
I mean, I guess I have a lot of red sources I could draw to loot and find another and two more creature. Um, he has that Swords to Plowshares in his hand. Um, so it's going to be hard. Quite hard. I, I, I need to... Yeah, it's very hard. I'd have to Entomb for Ashen Rider and reanimate, animate that it. All right. Well, I don't know why he's not playing his things. Is it possible he has another flash creature? Yes, seems unlikely. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Fetch lands will be turned off, so it's like Lotus Petal or the one of Red Source or. So three, four, four red sources. Oh no, we're just dead. Four red sources and three entombs were our outs. Yeah, that's all the things we needed right there. All three of those top cards. Don't look, don't look. You're just gonna be sad. It's gonna be a sad time. All right. Uh. Okay. Definitely want these two. These are like key. Super good. Uh. This is pretty good. Kills Thalia. Might kill an artifact or two. Or one. One artifact. The rest. Uh. They have too many creatures. Piercing needle. I think those four seem pretty good. This card's definitely good. They're playing like a uh, Knight of the Reliquary, most likely. All of my creatures are quite good, so maybe I don't want the Pithing Needle. Can name Krakus, but so can uh, Archetype. Not naming it, but it's pretty good. Chancellor's staying in in case he's playing Surgical Extraction. Unmasks are better than most discard spells. Therapies, they don't have a lot of stuff that we would want to steal from their hands. Like you see, they mostly have creatures and then it turns our zoom off anyway. Or it doesn't turn them off, but it makes them significantly worse if there was like a creature worth discarding. Uh, you don't really want to zoom it back into play. Sam looks pretty good. Not great, but good. So turn one. Loot. You know, put Ashen Rider in the graveyard for sure. Looking for a reanimate spell. Then the hand becomes great. Uh, if we can unmask before we cast the reanimate spell, that would be great too. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, so this can go and this, and then we can unmask pitching. No. Uh, well, we do need to keep one land. So this one and this one are definitely going to have to go. And we're going to hope to draw. Hope to draw a black card. Um, if we don't, we might have to try and bait with the Exhum, uh, but Ashen Rider's really not that good. It's good at killing Crocus, but that's it. It's bad against um, Swords of Potters. So really hoping for a black, any black card. That way we can unmask the Surgical or Fairy Macabre that he probably has in his hand. Um, Okay, never mind. Huh. Well, we are pretty dead to that. That's really good against us. Can't even loot anymore. And I think our we have maybe an abrade in our deck. It's the only thing. Super unfortunate. We are not the luckiest guy in the room today. I think Wachabi PTT is the luckiest guy in the room today. Maybe next time we will be the luckiest guy. We still have a couple turns to become the luckiest guy in the room. By drawing our one abrade. The one abrade would be super cool. All 
All right. <laughs> At least we have some draw steps ahead of us. Although, two power is quite scary. I mean, it's quite the clock. All right, we're getting somewhere. We are getting there. We're s so close. Well, I mean, we're just a, an abrade away, which is, uh, you know, it's one card in there. There's a, one card in here that's good. Beyond that, beyond that, we, we have to try and hard cast a Gristlebrand. But the two coming through each turn, probably faster than hard casting a Gristlebrand. Especially versus the deck that has uh, Caracas and Sword Spodger, isn't it? Hard casting crystal brand probably not good enough. Noble Hierarch, on the other hand, is super good. I should just go back to playing this card. It was trying last game to reanimate his Birds of Paradise, but Swords of Plowshares was too much for me. Generally, this is a very easy matchup, but uh, sometimes you reanimate and you lose to Caracas, and sometimes they have the turn one cage. Uh, now, I'm going to concede because the game is pretty well over. I have one card in 46. Um, even if I get it, uh, my hand against this Thalia is probably too slow, even if I have the Abrade. We're going to look, and then we'll see uh, how deep the Abrade is. No, it's not going to show it to us. That's fine. We don't want to see anyway. 